Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Chaos Theory video where we finally have a full trailer breakdown to do. Very recently we speculated about the Spinosaurus appearing in this animated show and also what dinosaur species could be appearing. We have a full playlist for you guys to enjoy but today we're diving into the deep end as we finally have a full trailer to feast upon. So of course as we did for Camp Cretaceous and the movies, we're going to be doing a full trailer breakdown. Unfortunately, Universal have blocked the trailer worldwide on copyright grounds, so I can't upload it and help promote the show even more. Once again, it's a really odd choice by then. But you can find it available on my Twitter instead. Now, before we do jump in, I urge you all to subscribe to the channel as 80% of you guys watching right now aren't currently subscribed, so make sure you are so that you can stay ready for the next installment of the Jurassic franchise. But now, without any further ado, make sure you're sat back, relaxed and ready to enjoy the trailer breakdown of Jurassic World Chaos Theory. The trailer opens up with a small remix of the original Jurassic Park theme. paying a homage to what we heard in the first trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? This is a neat, tiny connection as both of these editions take place in 2022. The trailer first shows us a news report from 2016 when the campers first made it back to the mainland after surviving the events of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 5. The trailer proceeds to give us a flashback of the events from the first series, as the news anchor explains how the teens were trapped on Isla Nublar for nearly a year. Then struggled to survive all on their own for nearly a year. Which seems to be our first continuity error of the show. As we know, the events of Jurassic World take place on December 22nd, 2015, and the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's opening prologue take place in June of 2016 six months after the fall of Jurassic World. Both of these events are shown in Camp Cretaceous, and Season 4 and 5 take place directly after Season 3, which is where we saw the connection with Fallen Kingdom. So, the news anchor should rather be saying that they survived half a year, rather than nearly a year. The news anchor also confirms that the campers were presumed dead, meaning that this whole time, this would have been much more of a devastating development for the families of these children, something that we were actually wondering for quite some time. A timeline is set as six years later appears on screen. As we know, the arrival of the campers on the mainland happened in 2016, meaning that Chaos Theory takes place in the year of 2022, exactly what we confirmed and speculated about a few months ago in our videos outright confirming one of our very first theories. The modern day sequence starts in an ominous way, as wind chimes clatter in a dark shack. This shack seems to be more of a small log cabin, and evidently shows a picket fence surrounding it. But this fence seems to have bells on it, suggesting that whoever lives here wants to be alerted of anything that may lurk nearby. At first, we think dinosaurs, but later, in the trailer, we learn that it's for humans too. Darius uses a shock stick that's very similar to what the ACU teams used in Jurassic World. This is then caught by none other than Ben, who is returning from the first series. Reuniting Ben and Darius, who are both confirmed to be 18 years old in this show. Now, what makes me laugh is the sudden change of height for Ben. Puberty may have hit Darius in the face, but puberty decided to deny gravity with Ben, as it's clear that he's had a massive growth spurt, becoming at least over 6 feet tall, and much taller than Darius. As the trailer moves on, Ben says, try not to freak out, someone is hunting us. Darius! Ben? What are you doing here? Try not to freak out. Someone is hunting us. Which begins to set the tone of this show. In an article, that we will cover in a later video tomorrow, it's confirmed that this show is set to be in a similar vibe as the last Harry Potter movies, but as a conspiracy thriller show instead. So, as Ben describes someone to be hunting them, this is set in stone the theme of this show. Ben is driving erratically across the American highway. In his van, we can see a cute dinosaur smelly that's dangling from his rearview mirror, 
potentially meaning that Ben still loves dinosaurs despite leaving Manticorp Island. Darius doesn't seem all that impressed with Ben as he says, but why, in fear of his life. But the next visual shot of this trailer shows a dark web in the Jurassic universe, which seems to be rather similar to the Dino Tracker website that we got for Jurassic World Dominion's marketing. It also seems similar to what the CIA were using in Jurassic World Dominion. This website is called Dark Jurassic. Unfortunately, we can't read anything more as it's all in gibberish, but on the map, we can see that the dinosaur sightings are being traced across North America. Now, we can see some obvious ones for the land dinosaurs and the Mosasaurus, which we knew only lived in the Pacific Ocean in 2022 thanks to Jurassic World Dominion and Dino Tracker. But there seems to be some dots in the Gulf of Mexico and off the coast of the south of the United States, suggesting that there could be a new marine reptile spotted in this area, or they could just be an avian creature spotted, but a new marine reptile is also on the cards here. The trailer has Darius asking Ben who would even want to do that, as Ben is unsure. The trailer then cuts to Ben being on the phone, where it seems headlights from an eerie truck is shining into his place of refuge. We're unsure on who this could be with the truck, but it's likely to be whoever was tracking Ben. He seems to be the one who's more involved with this ongoing situation. As the trailer cuts to Ben and Darius standing outside Darius's cabin with torches, we hear that Ben needs to warn the others, suggesting that the other campmates from Camp Cretaceous will return. Now, in the article, the showrunner does not confirm nor deny the return of the other campmates, but it seems ever so likely that they will return as well. But it seems as though whoever is tracking Ben and Darius has it out for the Nublar 6 and wants to find them, but we're unsure as to why. In what seems to be the same shot as to the car's headlights shining through, and possibly Darius's cabin thanks to the fish that we can see in the top left corner, a silhouette of the Atrociraptor shines through. That's right, the Atrociraptors return, and they seem to be being used like they were in Jurassic World Dominion, as the person with the truck is forcing the Atrociraptors to hunt down both Ben and Darius as it stalks them from outside. And then, bam we get a close-up shot of the Atrociraptor's eye. But who are these Atrociraptors? Well, they are none other than the exact same ones we see in Jurassic World Dominion. Ghost, Panthera, and Tiger all appear in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. However, no sign of red quite yet. But, for what we do see, may I just say, they look outstandingly great. Panthera and Tiger are seen stalking Ben and Darius as they make their escape from the log cabin, but in the next shot, we see Darius is being chased down by Ghost the Atrociraptor in what seems to be a shipping yard of some sorts. I'm currently unsure of where this is, but it takes place in California, so I assume one of the coasts. <laughs> Up next, we have our very first look at a brand new species coming to the Jurassic universe, the Beckles Spinax. Confirmed earlier last year, this dinosaur is seen headbutting the van that Darius and Ben are driving in, once again on what seems to be a port. Sporting a unique looking spine which almost resembles a concavenator, this dinosaur could be being transported by sea when it broke out or got let out from its container. That's my assumption based on what we just saw. It seems to be very heavily themed around a port of some kind. The very next shot depicts Darius driving his truck, the same one we see from the initial trailer back in November, but it also showcases the Allosaurus. Now, we wondered why Darius spun the truck around in the first place in the first trailer. Now we know it's because he saw the Allosaurus running across the road. This suggests that the footprint we see in the first trailer might not be a sauropod after all, but may in fact be a Nasutoceratops, but there's not much to confirm that quite yet. As the little montage trailer plays at the end, we see one of the Atrociraptors leap into the air about to pounce on both Darius and Ben, being backlit by the moonlight behind it. It seems practically over for the two friends, but we all know that they will make it out alive, somehow. Throughout the trailer, six years later, coming home was only the beginning is the slogan, but the first official poster reveals a little more. This official poster reveals the official catchphrase as Chaos comes home. 
further proving that this show is going to be rather chaotic and follow the idea of chaos. It features an Atrociraptor in the foreground, with Darius in the background, confirming the release date of May 24th, 2024. So, once again as we predicted, late May will be the release of Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 1. There's an extra poster over on Netflix, which shows off one of the Atrociraptors in a Here's Johnny the Shining moment. But yeah, that's everything in the trailer breakdown for the very first trailer of Jurassic World Chaos Theory. So, what do I think about what I've just seen? Well, firstly, when the first trailer of Camp Cretaceous released back in 2020, I was out shopping with my mother in town. I never go out. So seeing the trailer release whilst I was away was typical. But to my disbelief, the first time I went out shopping in town with her again since that incident, the first trailer for Chaos Theory released. I could not believe my luck. Four years apart. <laughs> oh, but yeah, when I first watched the trailer, I was moved with joy seeing the return of these two friends, and I was ecstatic to see the Beckel Spinax and Allosaurus. But one thing I noticed right away was the importance of the Atrociraptors. It's clear that we'll be following their storylines before their move to Malta in the summer of 2022, meaning their lore is about to widen even more. Which is great, as we want to learn how these dinosaurs were trained in the way of the Indoraptor as we saw them in Jurassic World Dominion. So hopefully this show does exactly that. The trailer is very carnivore heavy, but I don't doubt that we'll see some herbivores as well, as a Pachyrhinosaurus is seemingly confirmed thanks to some toys. But yeah, this show seems to not be about the dinosaurs, but instead about the more sinister plans of humans, which is exactly what I want from a Jurassic show, and I'm very excited for. To explore the dark world of Jurassic and the dark web. Once I read it was described as a conspiracy thriller, I was all for it, and I simply cannot wait. But yeah, that's the full trailer breakdown for this show. I hope we'll get another trailer closer to the release date, but for now, that's all we have. We'll be covering the article in greater detail tomorrow, as I am currently going through something major behind the scenes that I'm sure you'll hear about eventually, so stay tuned on the channel for that by subscribing. Like the video if you enjoyed, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.